Okay. When you double click on a layer, it's the group or vector or PNG, we have a layer settings. It has a different tab. For example, if you click vector, we have vector tab. If you select the group, as you can see, we have a different tab. But the general tab is general all uh, settings. That I will explain some settings here. Hide in uh, editing view. It hide that if you come in here and apply, it's hiding in an editing view, but it's in a layer, but animation is there. You can apply it for seeing that. Don't render in, in this, <clears throat> don't render this layer if you uh, hit Control R. As you can see, if you Control R, it's render this. But if you active, don't render this, Control R, uh, then render that. Oh, 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 don't forget to apply that. Control R, as you can see, we don't have any output. If you want to some <coughs> layers, uh, I know by layer selector, if you click on that, uh, if you alt right click, it's ignored with them. Allow animated layer effects. As you can see, we have a compositing effect, we have outline effect, we have colorizing effect, that you can animate at them. Uh, it's very simple. If you want to allow them to animate in a timeline, you have to first allow the animated layer and then apply. And here you can animate it then. For example, we are in a layer of zero. You can change the blur. For example, blur from zero, you can apply it. Okay, you can set the blur. I explain the blur. You can double click on it and for example you can change the blur to the a number here As you can see they are keyframing the blur but for seeing the blur you have to control r as you can see this is a blur effect that you can achieve that don't you have to apply now as you can see uh, the blur, it's animating from zero to the number that you expect. that is blur oh i don't want to hit enter on it and here you can delete the caveman. Nice, you can animate them uh, uh, on timeline. The opacity, the, you can change the opacity of that. Full opacity, you can, uh, for example, if you have an object below that, you can see that apply, control R, as you can see, it's uh, decreased the number of the opacity. 100%, it's very simple. Then you can apply it. Then auto shading radius, uh, auto shading, it's actually like a AO ambient occlusion. It's, it's add some shadows, darkness to your object. For example, make it a higher number to see it better. Now, as you can see, it uh, added some darkness and shadow to that. You can, if you want, you can add uh, auto shading. Uh, threshold anywhere in a uh, moho you see threshold it's deleting the ran var variety of the color and it's bring it to the one color and make your design more cartoony oh as you can see it delete a lots of color there want to apply as you can see change the colors and noise it adds some noise to your design like this as you can see it creates a noise to your design it's any layer if you select uh, this sketch this group it's add to all group if you select the layer it's add to the that layer if you want you can create it there but be careful about that if you are in you know, time one and then curve framing uh, pixelation, it creates a pixel of, the, of your output. As you can see, if you want to create a pixel, you can assign pixelation to that. It's very easy. You can flip it horizontally, flip it vertically if you want. Simple. And uh, in these options, we have a lot of options that I explained it before. Most of them rotate uh, to follow path. I explained it before. We create a path and we assign an object to that and it follow the path tangent, 
uh, uh, scale uh, consen- con- uh, compensation. It means if you, for example, come here and create a um, simple, oh, be careful about that, create a simple star. Before that, going to the scale, creates auto fill. We make it about that. Create a star with the strength of our that. As you can see, as you can see, uh, this is an SK compensation. It means it's uh, changing the uh, t uh, width of the stroke. It keeps that according to the scale of the star or any object that you want. Yeah, you can use it. Come back to our sitting. And anywhere in a Moho you see immute, it means it's it's locked. It's uh, do not do camera to, for example, rotate. It's stay in its position or it's it's um, disab- disabled from depth of field that I explained in the next lesson. And these are for camera that have to explain the camera. Uh, for outline, you can uh, create an outline to your work that you have to see in a render. Yeah, as you can see, you can see. You can change the color of, of of your outline, change width and apply. Oops, no, no. Uh, for outline, uh, sorry, I, for example, give to this katana. For example, this width, and it's created an outline to whole layer. You can see it. Let's create a simple outline if you want. Or colorize, it colorize all layer that we don't eat. we don't use it very much. So in this case, it doesn't uh, give the outline to a whole project. You have to select to uh, uh, in a lower higher hierarchy of the folder. For example, this, for example, this. You can see the outline. And also anywhere in the moho that you see the animated, it means okay, you can animate that parameter uh, along timeline. <clears throat> and don't forget to apply it and make sure that you are in a zero or for animated, bring the timeline in any frame that you want. Uh, hit apply or enter or okay, it will uh, automatically K-framing for you. And another important thing here is a, a blending mode like Photoshop, like anything that you want. For example, <clears throat> Uh, we have uh, this layer here, and I uh, select it, and I create a s- different, sorry, different stroke for that. To better see that, and different, okay, different feel. Yeah, it's the green one. And then make it a bigger, and we can combine this layer to the layer on the uh, under that layer, that is uh, all. Uh, you can select here to go into its settings, and here in the blending mode, you can blend. You can multi multiply that to layer below that. Or uh, oh, sorry, I think it is have to be in this way. Oh, I I forget to hit apply. Hmm. I always forget. As you can see, it's a layer all about the layer blending. It's very simple. It's blending the layer uh, that are in the different hierarchy. It's blending the layer together in a way that you are here. For example, saturation, apply, control. Oh, it's like exactly like Photoshop. As you can see, we can uh, we blend different color to the different color of the layer. And you can double click 
different the landing mode and that's it control okay this is all about the simple setting in a general hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release